Older So has brought out a big update, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get it. So to get the new version of Older So, you want to head over to their official Discord server, which is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my own Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that as well. Anyways, here in the download channel, you want to download the launcher file, which is going to be right over here. So right here in my downloads, I have the all new launcher, which is fantastic. Once you have this, you'll never actually need to re-download it again. It'll always automatically download the latest version of the Odorso DLL file for you. Anyways, we can open this up just like so. And here we have it, Odorso client. So in here, you can find their official Discord server, as well as it telling you your current version of Minecraft. We can go into the settings area as well, where we, where we can choose to inject a custom DLL if we wish to do so, as well as customize it a little more. Anyways, we can simply click on launch over here, and it'll automatically start up Minecraft for us with Odorso injected. As you can see, here it is, which is great of course. So now I'll just head into a Minecraft world and I'll show you how to use this. So here inside of Minecraft, you may have already seen the notification, but you can press on L on your keyboard and that is going to open up the click GUI over here. This, as I said, is the click GUI and here we have all of the utilities that this client has. So you can click on this red part to turn them on and you can click on the now green part to turn them off again. You can click on the utilities themselves and that'll bring you into a little bit of a customization menu for that specific utility. As you can see, some of them do have more customization than others. You can actually also press on this star right over here and that is basically going to save it for you right there. You can also search up in the top over here if you're looking for something specific, as you can see. Now for the rest, there's also a config manager over here where you can create, load, and manage configurations for this client. And below that, we have the client settings. Here with some general settings, and we can actually also choose from a bunch of different categories of settings. As you can see, there's quite a lot of them, and you can customize these all as well, of course, if you wish to do so. Anyways, Right down here, you can copy the client path, and this will allow you to find where you can, for example, paste configs if you've downloaded them from the internet or want to manage this client's files. Now, for the rest with this client, you can actually hover above these utilities and it'll give you a brief description. And there's a couple of things that I think are very important and that I want you guys to take an extra look at. These are some of the utilities that I recommend. First off, we have Fulbright. Basically, this makes everything as bright as possible. Um, I can turn this on right here, and you won't notice, notice much changes, but this will, for example, mean that you won't actually require any torches in caves. Also, a really useful one is low fire. If I walk into this fire over here, or let's say someone hits me with a fire aspect sword, um, this is taking up a lot of my screen, more actually than it does in Java Edition even. Anyways, I can press on lower fire over here, and as you can see, I can still see that I am burning, but it's a lot less obstructive and definitely very useful. Finally, we also have the zoom, which in my opinion is pretty useful as well, as you can see. And there is one last thing, because some of these modules or utilities are actually going to show up on your screen. I can turn on the watermark as an example of this. As you can see, I now have the Odorso watermark on my screen. Anyways, let's say I want to change the position of this. I can simply go into here, go into this thing's customization settings, and now I can tweak its coordinates on my screen to determine the position I want it to be at. The same thing can be done for other things that will show up on your screen with this client. Anyways, right now, I can basically just turn this off, and basically, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.